Hello, it's me. Your girl. These creative, ingenious people will find their way out of absolutely everything. Like, no matter how hard it is, they're smart enough to get themselves out of it. I'm not smart enough to get myself out of things that I'm in. Seriously, how did I get here? I'm cooked today. Got my coffee. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> so pretty much what we came here today to look at is people who could get themselves out of any situation because they're that creative, they're that ingenious. I didn't even know ingenious was a word. Could you not just say genius? They're genius enough? Inge- Tenor learning English. Welcome back to the channel. Before we continue, today's video is sponsored by Vikings War of Clans. Vikings War of Clans is a massive multiplayer real-time strategy game with more than 20 million players. It takes place in the grim northern lands where Viking warlords fight over every piece of precious territory. If you're looking for a game that combines strategy and teamwork and where time invested pays off with victories, this is the game for you. It's even free and after five minutes I was hooked. I mean you get to be the leader of your very own kingdom, how cool is that? You build your own town, search the area for resources and even build your very own army. It's perfect because no matter how addicting it is, you can pick it up wherever, whenever. The game is also packed with incredible visuals, including excellent 3D graphics paired with an immersive soundtrack that literally transports you into the world of the Vikings. It truly creates realistic and historically accurate atmosphere, which I love. So what are you waiting for? Support my channel and download Vikings for free. I'll leave some links down below, which will give you guys an incredible bonus of 200 gold coins and a protective shield. You can even find me in the game under the name Tenor. And if you're quick enough, you might be able to join my clan. Thanks again to Vikings War of Clans for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into it. When you don't have enough whipped cream, it's like, okay, so clearly we have a nice tasty pie. Yes, of course, I'm going to talk about how I'm hungry now. I haven't had lunch, okay? Times are tough. And you've run out of whipped cream. You're halfway through, you're enjoying it, and it's going, shh. Oh, shh. I ran out of whipped cream because I ate it all in the middle of the night when I was crying myself to sleep. I mean, what? So what do you do in this situation? What would you do? What would I do? Listen, I would probably just admit to everyone that I'm dying of crippling depression and call it a day. But no, this smart person has put a car on the pie. Is that sanitary? You know, the car's doing a burnout and the burnout is whipped cream. <laughs> Me as a parent. Me as a parent? Can you imagine me as a parent? Today's Wi-Fi password can be unlocked by texting a photo of a clean kitchen to mum. Damn, that's actually kind of smart. Said photograph must contain one box of crackers on the counter by the stove to prevent the reusing of photos. Dude, this is smart. This is thousand IQ parenting right here. Thank you for playing. May the odds be ever in your favor. Love, mum. But that is just straight up clever. It's like, if you clean the kitchen, then I'll give you the Wi-Fi password. Imagine that changing it constantly just to spite your children. I love it. It's smart. It's ingenious. So clearly this little kid has like bumped their head. Is it just me or does every child bump their head? I have a scar on my head. I know Ilsa has a scar on her head. Is it just normal for kids to just go head first into something? So he's got like a big red mark. He looks upset. He looks a little bit like, oh, well, this is embarrassing. But the mother, I'm assuming it's a mother, a friend, a family member. I don't know who this person is. They've decided to just get a red marker and make this little kid Harry Potter. No longer is he embarrassed because he hit his head. He's Harry Potter. Look at him. He's just the cutest thing ever. He's gone from being an embarrassed child who's hit his head to Harry Potter. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Harry Potter. Oh, now this. I am impressed. I'm not gonna lie. Clearly their homework is needing a parent's signature. So pretty much he's just written mum or she's just written that. It's 2019. I don't want to assume the gender of the person that read it, but wrote it, read it, wrote it. I didn't go to school. Anyways, wow, this coffee's really kicking in. What do you actually do when you're a teacher and you see something like that? Do you let it slide? Like they've literally just written mum in clearly children's handwriting because if that's your mum's signature, she does need to go back to school. Please, somebody tell her. Actually, my handwriting's probably like that. Let's be real. Let's see you little punks smash my mailbox now. So for some reason, there is like this big trend about ruining people's mailboxes, whether it's with a bat or with a leg or an arm or whatever. People like smashing mailboxes. I don't get it. Each to their own. But this person has thousand IQ to it. What they've done is they've got their mailbox in the middle and then they put concrete around it, which means if they're hitting it with a bat, which probably wouldn't hurt so much, but if they're punching it, kicking it, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna break some bones. I sound like I'm selling something. Hashtag mailbox, hashtag Ad. Have you ever been traveling with pizza on a long drive home and you wonder, you're like, my pizza's gonna get cold. That's not what we want. That's not what we want at all. Well, haven't I got a life hack for you? If you want to keep your pizza hot, put the pizza on the front seat, turn the car heaters on. Do you think that that's hot enough to actually heat the pizza? I mean, it's not gonna get colder. So that's a plus. Why have I never thought about this before? All those pizzas that I've eaten that have been cold because I've traveled with them. All I had to do was just turn
turn on the heater in the car. See, this one to me is so random. This man didn't like the price for extra cheese at his local burger joint, so he brought his own cheese slices. I kind of relate to it. I kind of feel like I would do something like that when it's too expensive to get extra cheese, so you bring your own cheese from home. So extra. I love it though. I kind of, I kind of really love it. I, I, I really do. He just looks so proud of himself. He's like, yeah, I got like three slices of cheese in my cap. I'll sell you some for a good price. It'll be cheaper than this burger joint. I'll tell you that much. Imagine if he just became a cheese dealer. Like this man's right here. Just hiding cheese in his hat, serving it to the customers for a very cheap, easygoing price of $9.95 per slice. Hey, it's an absolute bargain. This one, I genuinely want to show my grandparents because they really, really struggle with the TV remote. You got to think about it. There's like so many buttons that they can press, which means if they're pressing the wrong button, they're probably ruining their TV show. This is perfect. You've got the one button that changes the input of the TV. So you can switch from Foxtel or cable to normal TV to Netflix. And then you've got the on and off button. That's all you need. I don't know why we've got all these complicated numbers that are just stressing my grandparents out. This is perfect. This is literally ingenious. Whatever ingenious means. Apparently people are calling Uber to be taken to the emergency room instead of an ambulance. What? Okay, I keep forgetting that I don't live in America. We actually have healthcare and stuff here, but a $10 Uber ride or a $3,000 ambulance ride. I know what I'm choosing. We are reaching next levels of snitchery. I didn't even know snitchery. Snit snitchery was a word. Attention drug dealers. This is on a huge billboard as you're driving down the highway. It's massive. It's big. It's huge. I've had too much coffee. It says, attention drug dealers, report your competition. Wait a second. I think we've beaten the system. The police have literally big brain this one. Like that's not going to get you killed. People find out about that stuff. You know that, right? Would anyone actually call though? I feel like I wouldn't risk it if, if I was a drug dealer, but also like I wouldn't be a drug dealer. So it's hard to like put myself in the shoes of a drug dealer to figure it out. For those who are tired of drivers parking too close, uh, is it worth having those beautiful, I'm not saying that they're ugly, but they're just not that visually pleasing. They're not that nice looking. They're ugly. I'm just going to say it. They look terrible. But listen, is it worth knowing that no one's going to get anywhere near the front of your car? I wonder if it's on the back of the car too. I'm just picturing a full decked out car covered in those noisy fucking chickens. Also, how many times has this car been ran into for something in them to just snap? What happened to you for this to happen? What went wrong in your life? Are you okay? Oh my God. You're kidding. I aged a couple of years today when I found out if you hold down zero on your keyboard, you get the degree sign. I have always looked for that symbol. And do you want to know what I do when I need that symbol? I Google it. I literally Google it and then copy and paste it. I'm a fucking idiot. All right, ready? Let's get a Word document up in here. Ready? It's not, it's not working, guys. Guys, it's not working. Oh, shit. Oh, zero. I did O. It's still... Okay, I got lied to. I repeat, I got lied to. I feel like these people are making light of a bad situation. This man has broken his phone. Just right in the corner. Right on the edge there. So what does he do? He changes his background to make it look like there is some... Dragon Ball Z? Is that Dragon Ball Z? The Teletubbies. What TV show is this? I don't know what it is. I know I'm going to get judged for not knowing what it is. It's creative. It's simple, but smart. It's like glass half full. Making lemonade out of lemons. I'm using words today, guys. You should be proud. See, even this one. They've got a dent in their car. What do they do? Turtles. Ninja turtles. <laughs> Why don't I know these childhood? things. Now this card needs three more dents to make a full team. I'm just picturing somebody walking up with a bat and just like hitting it and being like, well, we need the other Ninja Turtles. We can't just have one. Just the texter job too, by the way. Like who got their Sharpie out? I was like, this is a sick idea. This is going to look wicked. Is anyone else going to mention the fact that this room looks horrifically dirty and it's giving me slight anxiety? You'll find the key hidden in your room. Good luck cleaning. It's like, yeah, it does need cleaning. I don't know. I'm assuming this may be the computer, the TV. They put a padlock through the power thing and then locked the key. Once the room's clean, then you'll get your TV, your computer back, whatever you want. It's yours. But until then, clean your shit. I agree. My inner OCD is like, damn, son, that is a dirty ass room. It looks like a child's room because it's like glittering. Is that green nail polish? Damn, girl, do that soon. Not me. <laughs> My daughter is currently pulling a D minus in maths. This is her phone. In case of B, break glass. What? You get to watch all your notifications light up, but like once the phone's out of battery, that's it. I love that they've gone to the effort of putting the flames behind the phone too. Like it's actually an emergency situation. I mean, it kind of is. A D minus in maths? Stay in school, kids, says the high school dropout. I literally didn't even know that you could get banana hangers. A banana keeper. Bananas ripen evenly. $2.87 headset hanger that turns into a banana keeper. Or is it a banana keeper that turns into a headset hanger? <laughs> Multi-purpose items. I need a headset hanger, not gonna lie. I hang mine on the edge of the uh, of the desk. I love that my pants are still undone. <laughs> 
No question, no problem. This person has literally just whited out the answer. I've seen people do this in tests before and I've also seen people use Word document and then turn the writing to white so it bumps up their word count but they're not actually writing the extra words. This teacher's like, Jackie, you can't just white out a question you don't want to answer. It's like, why not? Did it say I wasn't allowed to? Did it say otherwise? I think I can. You gotta respect the wittiness. You gotta respect the creativeness. I respect the grind. Am I the only person that feels this way? Is there any teachers out there who agree with me? Come on, tell me I'm not the only one. When everyone is too lazy to stand in line. Is this a legitimate thing? How slow is this lineup? They're like, if we all just agree, we all want to sit our butts down. We'll just put our shoes there. And then as we go up, we take our shoes. I feel like that's kind of smart. I don't want to stand for an hour. I'd rather just sit down, relax, enjoy myself. Like who's the person to start that? Hey guys, I know we're all standing in line right now and this may take a while, but if we all take off our shoes and all line up, I think that it'll save our butts. Let's all sit down. How to safely deliver a package if you have a scooter. See the word I'm questioning in this situation is safely. You're taping it to her body. There's three people in this photo and everyone seems pretty chilled out and it's it's kind of stressing me out, kind of giving me a little bit of anxiety, some would say. It's what the f my dad's Christmas tree. Your dad's Christmas tree? We literally had a tree like this. We had a little tiny tree, it was like this big. We were like not in the Christmas spirit. We still put presents around it, but we just couldn't physically be bothered actually putting up a tree. I may be that ingenious, clever, creative person. Give me praise. When your gingerbread house fails, just add a dinosaur. There's definitely situations when things fail, but there is always a way around it. There is always a lemonade out of the lemons. I promise you, you just gotta be clever. You just gotta be smart. Well, I feel like I'm walking away from today's video a little bit more educated than I walked into. It. And that's saying something. I have three brain cells now, not just two. But thank you for watching today's video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and um, make lemonades out of lemons.